going on YouTube welcome back to the Minion Meadow show so I don't know if I'm talking from my experience of riding dirt bikes and not from experience of riding street legal bikes because I know you know sport bikes cruisers Harleys Indian motorcycles and you know dual sports adventure bikes and stuff like that they're all completely different from like a bike that's made strictly for dirt like my bike but uh you know let me know in the comments section below if you can do this or not and what your opinion is but i've seen people spend like fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on having a company completely rebuild their suspension their front forks and their rear shock and completely tune the shit out of their suspension with different size springs different spring ratings and different types of oils and all this other type of shit just to make it fit that person that much more now my thing is is yeah you can tune your suspension for you know 150 to 175 pounds or 180 pounds to 200 pounds or you know to where it would have like a 20 to 30 pound weight difference right but your body weight's gonna kind of fluctuate a little bit whether it's like five plus or minus five or ten pounds or whatever depending on your status but i don't think it's worth spending two thousand dollars on tuning suspension now i gotta rebuild the left fork on my dirt bike so i can get both my forks rebuilt for 300 bucks rebuilding your suspension and having it done professionally for like 300 bucks or whatever is one thing but i can't justify spending two thousand dollars to you know tune my suspension because my flu weight fluctuates very badly like when like i'll be 175 pounds and then like two weeks later i could be 200 pounds and then i can go back down to like 170 pounds you see what i'm saying so my weight can fluctuate real badly and real quickly right and you know if i sit there and spend two grand to you know have it adjusted for you know 190 weight plus or minus 10 pounds then it's going to be too stiff if i'm 175 pounds and it's going to be too soft if i if i'm 210 pounds you see what i'm saying and i don't want to sit there and wait two three four weeks a month month and a half to send my suspension out to someone and then sit there and wait until it gets back you know and then pay all that shipping the two thousand dollars to have it done and the tax and all this shit and it's like let me just take my suspension have it rebuilt when it's needed like now but i don't have three hundred dollars to do it so right now i'm not going to do it until i can afford it but i don't know if y'all can do that if y'all for all y'all that ride street bikes or not if y'all can do that type of stuff or not let me know because like i said i have no experience with any of the street legal bikes like i know adv at nevada uh he's got the ktm 500 exc which basically is a street legal dirt bike like mine i know he could probably he could do it uh you know that some half of y'all right most of y'all that ride motorcycles that watch this watch or ride street bikes like sport bikes harleys cruisers this or that whatever so i don't know really anything. Uh, uh, i can't tell you a damn thing about street bikes in any way shape or form to save my life so i don't know but let me know down in the comment section if you can do it tune your suspension on your bike let me know what your opinion is on that because honestly in my opinion two grand fifteen hundred to two grand is not worth it to me or however much it costs if it was like 500 bucks to take my both my front forks and my rear shock to rebuild them completely rebuild them 
in tune, then maybe I would do it at that point, especially if I had the money, right? Seeing that my front forks are blown out anyhow, so, but at that point I would do it, but not for 1500 bucks, not for two grand, and whatever. So, anyways, love y'all, be safe, catch you on the flip side, and don't do anything stupid that's going to get you in trouble. Deuces.